What is up guys, it's me Vlad and today I'm going to show you guys how to get mods in Gorilla Tag on Quest, standalone Quest. So you don't need a PC to play the game with the mods, it's going to be standalone and uh, as you may guys know I have uploaded uh, quite a few videos about Quest mods and uh, for most of them, pretty much uh, for every video that I uploaded a bunch of people got a bunch of errors. And uh, the method itself worked and many people got the mods and the, they even uh, commented that and uh, joined my discord and said that but some people weren't so lucky some people didn't quite uh, um, make it to the mods in game they yeah, pretty much uh, were stuck on an error in quest patcher and today i'm going to show you guys a method that works 100 percent of the time so uh, you'll be able to get uh, the mods without any errors because last night actually i tried downloading mods on my quest and i got an error and i figured out how to fix it how to get everything right and uh, it's going to be way easier than before or than the method before I showed so uh, pretty much just follow every step I do and if you have any questions ask them in the comments and in my discord the link is in the description and yeah so let's start off the video okay so as you can see on my I'm on my YouTube channel this is the last video I uploaded by the way if you want to get a bees mod menu for free you could uh, watch the video I uploaded previously or it's pretty much in my discord uh, but so, under this video uh, you're watching right now, I'm just uh, using this video as an example, you'll see the Discord with the mod menu. So, you'll have to click on this link, the reserved link doesn't work because we don't have enough boosts, sadly, uh, but whatever. So, you'll have to click on this link right here, and you'll join Discord, or you're gonna join my Discord. So, uh, by the way, if uh, you cannot join the link, if the link for some reason is invalid, uh, you actually let me respond to this guy mod tutorial okay uh, so if you cannot join the discord pretty much with the link you can just search up my discord over here it's Vlad yep over here as you can see it's just searching for another discord okay so after you pretty much uh, so search up my discord you could join it we've got 9700 members it doesn't show it accurately right here okay so after you're in my discord after you're in my discord what you want to do is go down to the quest uh, mod section it's in gorilla tag section it's a channel separate channel quest mods right here so you're gonna want to scroll up to the top so uh, what you want to do actually before this before this uh, we'll have to do one step We'll have to download quest patcher So we're not quest patcher side quest. So look up side quest The side quest and uh, you're gonna find side quest link to download next uh, what you'll want to do is just uh, actually Wait a second. Uh, yeah, I'm logged in I get side quests right here. Don't download this one. Download only this one because uh, we'll need to be able to download an APK. So click on download this one. Uh, it's going to install. Then um, I'm not. I don't want to install it again because I already have it. But once you are going to download it, once it finishes download, you just click on it, or it's going to be in your downloads folder on your PC. You just uh, want to click on it. Then you want to actually click on uh, just install install finish the installation you may need to log in into an account but i don't think you need to log in into account if they don't make you log in into one uh but yeah so this is the first step just download side quest if you don't have it so uh side quest is pretty useful you can download a bunch of free games uh, that aren't on app lab and uh, the quest store okay so we got that out of the way next what you want to do is you're going to want to go to my discord and uh, we'll want to follow these steps so you could read this i'm not going to read this uh, but next uh, what you'll want to do is click on twitch cool dude vlad over here the link 
to my Twitch account. If you cannot click on the link, if you, for example, you have a, if you have a Twitch account, you can just search up "Cool Dude Vlad" here, and you'll you will find my um, basically Twitch account. So, after you found my Twitch account, um, you're going to want to make an account, as you can see over here. So you want to log into a Twitch account or create one. So over here, there will be a sign up section under my webcam. I'm going to disable my webcam, sign up or log in. You're gonna want to sign up or log in. It's pretty easy. It's uh, basically the same um, process of creating an account as a regular, uh, any account, like uh, for example, a YouTube account or something like that, or a Discord account. So you just want to create and log into an account and over here, you're you will see a follow me button so uh, or follow an account button so uh, just click follow because that's required uh, because uh, without it you won't be able to type in the chat so after you followed me after you followed me what you'll want to do is go to the chat section right here so go to the chat section over here and uh, what you will want to do is uh, you will want to type in exclamation mark quest mods so exclamation mark quest mods i think you have a 10 second timeout or something like that so you won't be able to type for that too long by the way if you cannot see the chat you will want to click expand over here on the arrow uh over here as you can see there's an error click expand yep okay so just click expand then type in quest exclamation mark quest mods like this and you'll want to paste it so paste it over here as you can see uh, um, there's it says here's a link to a zip with everything that is needed unzip the folder with 7-zip or one router they're completely free uh, the folder is uh, that big because of the apk inside it the, the zips uh, simply can't compress enough can't compress apks enough so don't worry there are no viruses inside yeah, there would be no point in me giving you guys a virus, literally, um, uh, because I don't want to destroy much trust with you guys. Uh, so, next uh, I wrote, I'm not associated with this folder and files in any way, didn't make them, and don't promote them. Uh, the responsibility for the one doing this is fully on him. So guys, uh, just a uh, quick disclaimer so I don't get in any legal issues. I didn't make any of the mods, I'm not distributing the mods myself, and... Uh, uh, pretty much, uh, I uh, don't condone the use of mods, and uh, yeah, pretty much uh, this is educational purposes only, and uh, just uh, so you guys know that this is possible to do, and entertainment purposes only. So yeah, after this, what you'll want to do is you will want to click on the link above, or the link that appeared, pretty much someone else typed in a mod menu, they want they wanted to get a mod menu, uh, but we're going to want to get this folder right here. So we click on it, then we'll want to click download. As you can see, it's 198 megabytes. I just click on it, download. This is going to download. And while it's downloading, guys, uh, if you don't have WinRAR or 7-zip some, or something to open zip files with, you will want to search up WinRAR. I use WinRAR. It's, uh, easier to use than 7-zip in my opinion so just click WinRAR it's completely free uh, and uh, download WinRAR right here click on it click on download WinRAR um, and that will start the WinRAR download I'm going to cancel it but after this you can see there are steps to download this just uh, yep follow all of these steps it's pretty easy uh, you just have to click on this right here dot exe then click yes then click install then click ok and then done so yep pretty much that's it for the WinRAR and uh, after this you can see our mod or if your RAR file with the mods didn't load you're probably going to want to click on download over here but mine did and I'm going to show you guys it's not a virus no no there is nothing in it that is a virus uh, so you guys aren't skeptical if you don't want to you can just uh, if you don't want to open it you can just watch me open it in real time and i'm going to go with through everything with virus total because i did the same thing yesterday uh to make sure nothing 
uh, has any viruses. So next, what you'll want to do is you'll want to open up your downloads folder on your file manager or just click on this right here. And after you installed the uh, basically WinRAR, you're, you will be able to uh, open the uh, basically the folder. So you'll want to open the folder. Actually, it's way easier to just right click on the folder and click extract here. So extract here. So that we'll have a folder with uh, the gorilla tag mods over here. Actually, I'm going to put it on my desktop so it's way easier for you guys to see it um, okay you don't have to do this uh, but yeah so next thing oh by the way if you cannot get twitch account for some reason you can uh, or if this doesn't work for some reason you cannot get the, the mods folder uh, or basically a link to it uh, you can dm me on instagram cool that vlad on instagram as you can see right here Good Vlad, um, and yeah, my account is private. I'll accept your request, and uh, yeah, and you can just message me. Okay, so just uh, got that out of the way because uh, some people cannot get a Twitch account, but they can get an Instagram account. And if you cannot follow this link, you can just search up Cool Dude Vlad, and you'll see me. Okay, so next, what you want to do is uh, you will want to open up the Girl Attack Mods folder right here and we'll have a bunch of folders right here i made it uh, or um, it's pretty easy over here to actually do this um and i'm going to run everything for virus total so you guys uh, if you guys don't believe me you will believe me everything doesn't have viruses for example go to tag apk this is an apk this is why the folder is that big oh my god thank you for the follow guys if you follow me while i'm recording a video it will appear on the screen and sorry for me being so monotone guys i try to think my thoughts through you know uh, so i don't say something dumb okay and as you can see this doesn't have any uh basically viruses and uh, this file is actually uh, 106 megabytes that's why the folder is so big because it cannot compress the apk and we have a bunch of mods here for example let's uh, try this mod public long arms then we have public gravity monkey by the way these mods don't actually hurt anyone so these mods are all oh my god we're on a streak of follows thank you for the following guys um by the way guys so these mods don't hurt anyone this is a disclaimer uh, these mods Basically, what they do is uh, you will be able to play only in a downgraded version. Oh my god. So many people fo are following. Thanks for the follow, guys. Okay. Yeah, I cannot uh, think my thoughts through. As you can see, none of the mods had the uh, viruses. Let me actually test these ones so you guys uh, don't doubt me. Yep. It cannot... Uh, basically, if you put in... The whole folder or if you put on the whole zip it cannot process it through so that's why it says uh, over here media files scans high risk files uh, using virus total because if i put in the whole folder it cannot scan the whole folder because there are different file types uh so uh, did i scan this one um gorilla utils i didn't okay as you can see nothing you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you guys that nothing has viruses in it. Virus total scans uh, with uh, a bunch of uh, antivirus software. As you can see, all of these things are different uh, antivirus software. So, uh, and then we have Quest Patcher. As you can see, nothing has viruses. Nothing at all. Uh, and yeah. Okay, guys, I'm back. I had to solve some problems. My camera stopped working, and uh, there were a bunch of moths flying around. You know, I had like triple kill two times and uh yeah that's not the point of the video yeah my house got kind of or my room where my pc is like infected with moths man i kill like 10 daily 10 moths every day so uh, actually it's pretty sick it kind of reminds me of uh, being like a main character of doom you just uh i don't know uh, i catch them you know i got my thingy here to beat them man it's really annoying though they leave like a mark on the wall and i have to clean up but whatever that's not the point of the video man so 
I restarted my PC and everything is fine, everything is fine, got my webcam working, because this is a really important step, guys. Next, what you'll have to do is you'll have to get a USB-C cable, like, uh, or this is USB-A to USB-C. This is like a charger cable, pretty much. Uh, it doesn't focus on me, focus, or it doesn't focus on the thing. Focus, please. Whatever. But you'll have to get one. It's uh, basically like a charger port cable to your Quest. So you plug it in over here. And you'll have to find a cable like that. Uh, if you don't have a cable like that, um, you'll probably you probably have a USB charger already. Because, I mean, the charger comes with the Quest. How would you charge your Quest? Whatever. So, but it's a USB-C to USB-C. I'm not sure if you... Oh, I have a USB-C port on my computer. I'm not sure if you do guys ha or you guys have a USB-C port on your computer uh, But uh, usually USB-C to USB-A like these uh, cables come with like a mechanical keyboard or something like that So you might have it uh, And uh, you might not know it because that's uh, what I had and I did not know about But whatever you may ask uh, like your mom or your dad for it, but Okay, so what you'll want to do, you'll want to plug it into your computer and you're gonna want to turn on your Quest if it's turned off and you will want to uh, plug in the cable into your Quest where the charging port is. Next, what you'll want to do, you'll want to turn on your Quest or just put it on and uh, you'll see a prompt saying, do you want to, to allow access to uh, files on this device? And you'll want to click always allow or yes but uh, I would recommend clicking always allow because if you click allow only one time basically you'll have to enable or allow it uh, the quest to access your computer files every time you put on the quest so that will be really annoying so next you'll want to put your quest next to your computer somewhere and uh, leave it hanging with the wire you know uh, leave it connected and uh, next, next, I know I'm saying next um, a lot, oh my god, my neighbors, sorry for that. So, you'll want to uh, open up side quest. So, open up side quest, I'm sorry for my neighbors, uh, they're kind of annoying, they'll stop soon, they do this every day for some reason. Uh, but, but, uh, you'll want to open up side quest, and next, what you'll want to do is, uh, oh my god, thank you. Uh, you'll want to open up the folder that I had over here. So after you open up the folder and side quest, you'll want to basically uh, click on install APK from a folder or computer or on computer. Actually, you didn't have to open the, the folder over here. Yeah, why is that full screen? Whatever. You want to find the folder on your computer uh, what the APK in my case it was in the downloads and I put it in desktop so it's in desktop over here so it's it should be here shouldn't be uh, gtag mods over here so gtag mods find the folder then click uh, on install APK folder right here oh my god there's a mod here uh, man I gotta record the video I'll kill it though okay so click on gtag install APK and uh, just uh, double click on this file right here so, you'll have a one running task over here. And uh, I'm not sure if we can just drag and drop the APK. Can we? I don't... Oh, actually, yeah, we can. Uh, you can just drag and drop the file if you, you cannot find the folder for some reason. Just drag and drop the file from your folder over here and that should work. Next, we'll want to go to our running tasks and we'll want to see if the APK actually installed. Because if the APK didn't install, uh, that would be a problem. You would get an error on the bottom here and uh, it would probably say something. I don't remember what it would say, but it would say like a, a error in the red. And if you have that error, it's because you actually uh, didn't... Uh, what, did, what did I want to say? You forgot to delete the game from your quest. Or the game didn't delete from your quest, so just... Uh, Get your quest on, delete the game, and their error should be gone. Be, but uh, yeah, so after this, after you did this, next, what you will want to do is uh, you will want 
to install our quest patcher so we just double click on quest patcher windows i deleted my quest patcher to just show you guys how to do this okay next install only for me yeah just type it or click on install only for me so this for this user then click accept agreement next next install so your quest is still plugged in just uh, wanted to make this statement so you guys don't unplug your quest because uh, we'll still need it if your quest for some reason for some i don't know reason doesn't connect to the computer uh it's probably because of the cable or because you didn't turn on your quest just wouldn't wanted to make that uh clear next we'll click next finish okay we should have quest patcher on so it says quest now connected next so what we'll do we'll just reconnect our quest um click try again it should be yep should connect next next uh it will take you a bit longer than for me because i have a good computer with fast ram ssd so it can be pretty fast for me but it can be pretty slow for you we just click patch my app and uh it just downloads everything so depends uh, on how powerful your computer is basically so so it depends on how powerful your computer is uh, to how fast this will go but it should take you a couple of minutes for me it should be pretty fast i did this yesterday and it worked so guys this actually works i got an error over here once i tried installing the mod yesterday but i fixed it like i said in the beginning of the video so this should work for everyone okay so after this uh by the way if you're playing on the mac you may want to look up quest patcher you may want to look up quest patcher and you may go to github then click on the releases or here various fixes you may want to the download either the latest quest patcher mac version this over here just click on it or if this version doesn't work when you try to install that uh, you can go to releases then you can go down to 2.3 version yeah because this version actually works and uh, i think the the fix to the bug that uh, was uh, for the most people is uh, to just install the 2.3 version of the quest patcher install the right version of the apk like uh, to people who got an error previously because uh, that's what i did okay and uh, pretty much you'll want to just uh, click on uh, this then uh, click download for mac if uh, the per the higher version doesn't work for the mac okay that's uh for the mac so windows guys don't worry next what would you what you want to do is as you could see we got our thingy patched as you could see it says apk version 1.1.4 that's what it should say and uh yeah apk is modded and uh, we're gonna want to in our gorilla tag mods folder we're gonna want to go to quest patcher first so quest patcher first select all of these files right here and drag them over here drag them over here uh, click enable now click enable now they should be enabled if they aren't enabled it's fine then we go back to our quest or gorilla tag mod then we have put in quest patcher second folder we just click, double click on it open it up select these files drag them over to our quest patcher uh, then we click enable now click enable now although it may say that uh, this is outdated or something like that you click you need to click continue and then you might be able to click and enable these mods so just uh, wanted to get that out of the way okay there's a moth flying whatever um uh, so yeah if uh, it says that mods are outdated just click continue and click enable them and then click continue and they should be enabled because that's what i did for me yesterday they are enabled for me today for some reason but uh, whatever next we have the mods themselves uh, put on Qu quest patcher third we double click on this folder and we have a bunch of mods so guys this is an important step for some reason quest patcher 
or a grill attack bans you automatically. For ban evasion, once you basically put on all of the mods. So I think probably the platform monkey and the either long arms or gravity monkey causes this. So you may try to load up the uh, basically map loader and gorilla cosmetics first. So get them first. And if you don't want to get banned, use only these two. You may actually disable gorilla tank cosmetics if you want to. So basically why I'm saying this is um, this isn't really important because uh, you only get banned for 24 hours every time. And this doesn't affect your current version of Gorilla Tag on your basically quest. So yeah, it doesn't really matter like for your original quest version because this is only for this version, for the modded version. Uh, and yeah, so. So, if you want to play on Monkey Map Loader, important step, if you want to play on Monkey Map Loader, you will want to, I guess, uh, not use Platform Monkey, because, because Platform Monkey gets you banned, and I'm pretty sure these two mods too. If you want to play on custom maps, like uh, on Quest, you know, what you'll want to do is you'll want to click on cosmetics and other items and you will want to click on maps and you'll want to drag in the maps from like uh, some website or something like that. I can give you a website guys, so let me actually find it. Yeah, monkey map. Basically, you can search up this website right here, monkeymaphub.com. Search up monkey map monkey map the or monkey map hub.com i cannot speak properly and you can download the maps from here and put it in your game so you can put it over here for example i put in this one i downloaded it from here you can also download more maps on the official gorilla tag modding discord but i'm banned from it because i joined unheard um discord one time and it banned me automatically which i think is dumb but whatever uh, so you can download any map from here, although they uh, don't update the maps. You can find more maps on Gorilla Tag modding Discord, as I said previously. And thank you for the follow, guys. These files are actually on my Twitch, so if you follow, if you happen to follow me once I'm recording a video, you'll actually appear on the screen, so yeah. Um, but yeah, just click download. For example, I'm going to download New York City. Then... Um, it's in my downloads folder, I guess. Oh, wait a second. Downloads over here. Uh, then I'm going to import it over here. Just drag and drop it. As you can see, it's in. So you can play the maps like this. So if you want to play custom maps, you can go right into the game and just play custom maps but uh, you because you won't be you won't get banned and you cannot play custom maps if you're banned you need to know that and there will be a portal and you can select maps i'm pretty sure on computer. i'm not sure how you do it i had a video like it's my first video on this channel you can actually see it it's for gorilla tag um basically map loading or girl how to get gorilla tag maps on PC, but it's the same steps on Quest. You can just watch it if you want to get the maps on PC or on Quest and whatever. Just follow the same steps uh, as it. Just skip the first part where I installed the uh, monkey map loader. Okay, next, 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 guys. What you want to do if you want the mods themselves, you actually want to actually let me, let me close this. You want to drag and drop the mods themselves from here. So we got two mods already. Uh, we got cosmetics and the map loader. So we're gonna want to drop the other uh, enable now. We're gonna want to enable them. And if you want the platform monkey, just uh, drag and drop it here. And these are all of the map or all of the mods that you can actually use. You cannot use any other mods that are like out for quest right now because uh, only these work from what I've tested. And uh, yeah. So pretty much these are all of the mods you can get. You'll get public gravity, gravity monkey, you'll get long arms, you'll get platform monkey. And uh, yeah, so now, now guys, what you'll want to do is, uh, let me actually close this. You pretty much got the mods out of the way. So next, 
uh, what you'll want to do is unplug your headset from your PC. And by the way, if you want like uh, cosmetics and stuff, but because you can actually change it in the city, uh, you can put it on hats, you can put on because materials here. Uh, yeah, it's not connected. I disconnected my request, but I was just uh, showing you guys that uh, you can put in materials. Materials, I'm pretty sure, are in the Gorilla Tag official modding Discord and maps and stuff like that. And hats, you can get it there, all stuff there, and put it in here and port it. And yeah, the possibilities are limitless. That's how it's said. Next, what you want to do is you're going to want to put on your quest. And uh, right now, we're, it, said, it should say restore app. And it's really important, guys, that you don't click on restore app. You just click close, click close, and uh, then go to your app library. Actually, let me start recording from my quest right now. So you'll see a recording from my quest from this point on. Um, record video, include mic audio, start recording. Okay. Okay guys, so I'm recording on Quest right now, as I said in the video. As you could see, uh, I'm on my Quest and uh, either the Gorilla Attack should be in your un unknown sources or it should be in your all section right here, unofficial app. This, uh, it should say this, it's really important that it doesn't say the icon with uh, the cloud, basically closes it off. By the way, I just wanted to say guys that uh, you need to, to get the latest version of uh, Quest basically. You need to get the latest version of uh, Quest possible for this to work uh, and because yesterday I actually didn't have, wasn't logged in into Facebook or Oculus account. I had to log in because my game would crash automatically and it will put it in unknown sources. So if it's in unknown sources, it will probably crash and uh, it's because your game is probably in uh, or it's because you're not logged in. So next, what you'll want to do, you'll want to click open. You will want to click um, update later. Important update later. This is really important. Then we turn on tracking. And uh, you're gonna want to uh, click open app. You don't click restore because you'll have to do this all over again, delete the game, put in mods, stuff like that. Click allow permissions. Okay, and uh, let me actually put on my VR headset real quick. Oh, you will want to give the record audio permissions too. So uh, let me get my controller right here. Um, allow. Okay, and we're in game. We're in game guys. Uh, as you can see, there were no cuts. This is real. And to those who say this is fake, I don't know. Uh, it is it isn't fake because uh, I really did this while recording the video. I didn't have any mods. I didn't have Gorilla Tag installed because I uninstalled it. Uh, from yesterday as you can see everything works and it should work for you so to use the mod the, the bad thing about this version is that you actually cannot turn your head uh, head with the stick so i hate that a bit but uh, that's the price you gotta pay for playing with mods although you may install the newer version if uh, the mods work you're going to be able to um turn your head i haven't tried that so you may try it yourself if you want uh, but whatever so to basically enable the mod all you have to do is uh, just tap over here as you can see this is banana os menu so we're gonna want to click enter and we see the mods that we have gravity monkey you can enable disable it as you can see um, it's gravity, high gravity, although it doesn't work for some reason. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching the video, guys. If you actually got this to work, comment down below because uh, it will help other people to know that this works and this isn't a scam for some reason because many people think, for example, that if Quest Mod it's a scam, doesn't work, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but if I helped you, let me know in the comments, guys, because, uh, yeah, it helps other people and also helps me if you comment. For example, if you like the mods, 
uh, if you're gonna do this comment down below if you have any problems comment down below because uh, when you comment it actually really helps me as a youtuber i think watch your video guys i really appreciate all of you i would appreciate if you actually subscribe you know uh, we're on the road to 2k subs so don't forget to sub because I upload the, uh, the newest and the, the best mods showcases. Also join my Discord if you still haven't joined. But I'm pretty sure if you watch this until this part, you probably joined. But it's worth. We got uh, almost 10,000 members. So probably if you're watching this video, yeah, I actually got 10,000 members. And because we're going pretty fast, YouTube recommended my video, uh, my previous video a lot. So yeah, shout out to YouTube. <laughs> uh, whatever. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Bye bye. Uh, and uh, see you later. Ba -ba -ba -ba.